In this video, we're gonna be using Noble Otter Firefighter and the J.A. Hellberg uh, razor that was sent to me by Maddie Lindholm. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today, and I am home, and I'm using a new cam now, so it's taking in more than you would normally see, so I hope you'll bear with me on getting uh, used to it. It takes in more light as well, so you can see that 24 hours of growth, I think quite a bit better. Uh, than you normally do. Much better quality, I think. So we'll hope that will <laughs> make for a better video. So today, man, oh man, this was sent to me by Marion the Barbarian. Thank you, Marion. As you know, Noble Otter and me on Sense just often don't jive, but this one is the one I've been looking for. It is beautiful. Man, let's just smell it. Very, very excellent scent. Let me put the notes right there for you. Grapefruit, lavender, red cedar sandalwood um it's classified as an aquatic um it's not your typical aquatic though it is beautiful sense strength to me a little bit under medium i call it about four to 4.5 uh again with on the 10 end of the scale being like ariana and evans undersea tobacco maybe top sandalwood something like that but man oh man is this a beautiful scent and the label look at that noble otter just does it right when it comes to labels absolutely beautiful the cost on this is $18 for four ounces, and on our price chart right there, that is $4.50 an ounce, which is a fair price. And honestly, for the quality of this label, I mean, there's no air bubbles. It is just, it's perfect, um, and I'm looking forward to using it. The ingredients we'll put right there, coconut milk, goat milk, um, uh, mango butter, kokum, really good quality soap, and we're looking forward to using it. So let's just start by applying some scent and thank you again Marion I really appreciate it Marion has really been a a great friend to me and I appreciate him very much and he knew that I wasn't likely to buy this one because I won't take flowers on Noble Otter because more times than not I haven't enjoyed their scents but man this one this is a great one and so I'm looking forward to using it and of course as mentioned before the J.A. Helberg which was sent to me by Maddie getting some straights going today. So let's uh, mist the face, this is just plain water. And again, I wanna mention the, the links for these products will be below. It's generally that area is called the uh, video description. So if you're interested in any of these things, just check it out. Captain's Choice Bowl. Let's get this going today, this outstanding shaver. At least I hope it's gonna be <laughs> outstanding. We shall see, we shall see. It's been over a week since I've used a straight because I didn't take any straights with me to my mother's house. Um, so we'll hope that we're mindful of our technique today and get an outstanding shave, and I think we will. It's really up to me, ultimately. And that's the way it, it is with most things. Just Your technique means far more than anything else. And I expand technique to mean knowing what your face will Tolerate knowing what to do and what not to do, which is very, very important in my view. Again, I want to thank everybody for all the kind words recently. I really do appreciate it, but we won't drone on today. Let's just get started straight away with our Maddie Lindholm J.A. Hellberg razor, which has a very nice edge on it. Nice and smooth. Very nice indeed. And Maddie is just a prince of a... A guy, and this is one of those gifts that I'll just always keep and treasure. Um, so thank you very much, Maddie. I appreciate it very much. And as you know, Maddie sells um, shaving soaps, brushes, he hones, he restores. He does a little bit of everything. Plays in a band. I believe he plays drums, if I'm not mistaken. What can't Maddie do would be the question. And the answer is probably nothing if he puts his mind to it. Very nice. So no problems with the Matty Edge. And no problems with the Razor so far either. either. Excuse me. I hope all of you are doing well. By the way, the proceeds from this soap go to the Red Cross and the National, Fire, um, National Fallen Firefighter Foundation. So it is a charity soap. And so if you're interested, you know, grab it. Who doesn't want to support firefighters? Our friend John Perry that does the uh, collaboration. 
with uh, Murphy and McNeil and Chicano Designs. It's a firefighter. He's a great guy, by the way. And uh, there's just lots of awesome people who are firefighters out there. And if you are a firefighter, please comment below or maybe you have a firefighter in your family. Please comment below. Firefighting is one of the uh, occupations that uh, I don't have any family members that I'm aware of that is a firefighter. It's one of the few. You know, we've had sort of members of the family of almost all vocations, but firefighter we have not had. We've, we've had most everything else. I might have a distant cousin or maybe somewhere along the line, but... I'm not aware of it, and I'm, I'm not aware of who they might be, um, but it is a very noble profession, and uh, we certainly support all our firefighter brothers out there. That first pass was outstanding. The soap was good. The razor was good. Everything's good. Really nothing to complain about. I hope all you folks are doing really well today on this Tuesday morning. I'm just looking forward to getting a nice shave in today and relaxing and trying to not stress. <laughs> Avoiding stress is the the key. And again, I want to thank uh, Marion very much. Also, my buddy Chris Garcia sent some things I'll be trying this week as well. I won't be here for long. I don't want to disclose the, the details on that yet, but I'll be traveling again soon. But uh, we're going to try to enjoy our shaves here while we're here. Wow, very nice. Uh, by the way, the brush PAA Atomic Rocket, which is really nice brush, I think. And uh, does a great job for me. Soft, not expensive. Again, links for these things below. I can't tell you the number of times I get questions. Where did you get that? And I'm like, it's in the links below. No one looks... <laughs> No one that looks at the links, please look at the links. It takes anybody who makes videos and, and links all these products knows the time it takes. So if you're interested, give those a look. Of course, the soap will be here. Links to Noble Auto. They do often sell out. So if you don't find them there, you can always look to the Razor Company or Maggard or other suppliers that also carry their products um, and this one is good so it should be selling out if it is or at least it's good for me you know because I had uh, man I had trouble with Noble Auder since but this one fortunately is a winner for me and no one is happier than me because these labels that Noble Auder makes and I know you don't shave with the label and it doesn't mean a lot to people but I really like this one, so I was hoping to get a sample of it, and Marianne just sent me the whole thing. So thank you, Marianne. Very nice. And Maddie's Edge here, very nice as well. No problems whatsoever with that. Wow, what an enjoyable shape. That's really what it comes down to, you know, enjoyment. And today we're going to Enjoy it as much as we possibly can. And we should really try to enjoy every single shave to the max as much as we can. I know sometimes we get involved in debates and, you know, everybody gets passionate about things. But ultimately, if we're not enjoying it, why bother, you know? I, I enjoy all the discussion and everything, too. But when it comes down to it, I just really enjoy these shaves the most. And that's why I record and share them is because it's a lot of fun for me just to do these shaves and really enjoy them. It's that time you sort of, sort of uh, luxuriate as I was talking to uh, Kim, one of the viewers about, and she was telling me this is her time that she spends, you know, just sort of treating herself. And uh, that really is what it's all about, treating yourself, enjoying. One thing I want to mention is um, 
we were in a group talking the other day about uh, strokes, especially with, a, say, a Chevette or straight razor. And some people can do like a one uh, long stroke and it works very, very well. So you won't see them going over areas time and time again. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a moment. But for other people, myself being one, it requires, especially on my neck, it requires quite a bit of strokes to get most of it. And honestly, I don't go for BBS on my neck at all because that requires a sort of a horizontal sort of stroke that I don't do with a straight razor or DE because it creates irritation. So again, technique for me is also knowledge on what to do and not to do. And that's irritating. So I go for just darn fine shave on the neck and uh, you know, I'm happy with it. I don't, I don't get 100% of everything. I just want it to be, you know, somewhat presentable. And most importantly for me, I want it to be comfortable. Like I don't want uh, to be going around feeling a bunch of irritation and things like that. But anyway, what we were talking about is some people can make like this. They'll make a single stroke and then they move on to the next area like so. That does not work for me. I have to go over and over and sometimes sort of turn a little bit and you'll still sometimes see a little bit of uh, a few hairs sun sort of under the surface that you can still see, but I do get the bulk of it. But just simply doing that one like this, you know, if I were to go all the way up, does not work for me. And so it may or may not work for you. If it does work, that's fantastic because your chance of irritation, the less you do, the less chance you have of irritating, but it won't get all the hair from me. And so, you know, some people have the luxury of just doing this and then they're completely finished with that area. It doesn't work for me. So you have to, to figure out what works best. But for me, you know, I'll have to go over some areas and, and sort of uh, make sure I'm hitting them a couple of times and that is okay. But you do whatever works best for you. But just this right here, which you see a lot of people get away with and I think that's fantastic. Just one pass and they're on to the next area, that would be ideal, but it's just not reality for me, sadly. Mine just requires a little bit more to get those really stubborn whiskers. And as I said before, at a certain level, I just quit and I'm happy with it. Um, but it does require a little bit more. Ideally, it would be like this, just like boom, and that area is done, but that's not the way it works, sadly. But if you have that luxury, that is fantastic. A lot of people don't. So if you ever watch the inspector, my buddy, you'll see that he has to repeatedly go over areas as well, because that's just the way his beard is. And so do whatever it takes to get the best shave you can get. And there's not really a right or wrong way to do it. In my opinion, it's just whatever makes you happy, you know. Very nice. What a nice edge on this razor. It's very smooth and it cuts well, but it doesn't feel like super crazy sharp. It feels sharp enough and it cuts well. It's a very unusual edge, um, but it's extremely smooth. So it almost kind of feels like a cortical edge. I don't, although I don't think he put a cortical edge on it. Cuts well, very smooth, very nice. Thank you, Maddie. Okay, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back with the magic made by witches. This is just Thayer's Witch Hazel. Hazel. <laughs> I always get tongue twisted when I do it. Thayer's Witch Hazel, just in a misting bottle. And I might have scalped a bump over there a little bit today, but otherwise, I got to say that was a really nice shave. Um, the Noble Otter Firefighter for me is a winner in every regard. Price, um, label, scent, fantastic. This is the Noble Otter uh, scent that I personally have been waiting on. Again, check it out if you're interested. And it is um, supporting the Red Cross and the uh, Fallen um, Firefighter 
foundation. So uh, check it out if you're interested in that charity. Very, very nice. I absolutely loved it. Off camera, we used the PAA Allen block with dry dot. Of course, we used the PAA uh, Atomic Rocket brush today and the magnificent um, J.A. Helberg razor that was sent to me by Maddie Lindholm with his edge. Phenomenal. Really nice shave. I'm going to close it out today with the firefighter aftershave which is just fantastic as well this is an absolute winner for me thank you again marion i can't tell you how much marion has meant to me lately as a friend um just really offering a lot of support and encouragement and uh, i'm just very very thankful marion uh, to know you and and of course all my other great friends as well who are all offering um, support in their own way. Um, I'm not going to mention them all today. Maybe I'll mention everybody in a later video. But today, since Marion sent this, it's about Marion. Thank you, Marion. But most importantly, thank you for watching. Magnificent shave today. I hope you have magnificent shaves as well. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.